Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to MMA One again. This is your host, Devin. We're about to get into UFC Fight Night 125's main event, Lyoto Machida versus Eric Anders in the middleweight division. All right, guys, let's get into our post-fight breakdown. The Dragon won this bout via split decision. His MMA record now moves to 23-8. and eight. His last win came in December of 2014 against C.B. Dalloway. After that win, he went on a three-fight losing skid, and this recent win just put him back in the win column. Mr. Anders now moves to 10-1. and one. This is the first loss of his MMA career. This is a good learning experience for him. This is the first time we've ever really seen him face a very high-level opponent, especially in a guy like the Dragon, who used to be the champ. This fight was another typical Machida performance. He basically showed up and did the same thing he always does. He danced around and he circled on the outside. He landed a jab here and there. He landed low kicks to the leg and to the body and uh, basically did the same thing he always does. He did just enough to score points and to beat up on the judges' scorecards. He also threw in a check knee here and there. You know, that's like one of his little signature moves. You know, he twists his hips just a little bit. Then he pops that thing in there. Makes guys very weary when they're thinking about shooting in to get a takedown on him. Anders looked very tentative to strike. He looked like he didn't really establish his range and his distance until it got about around the third round. He also flinched at a lot of Machida's feints, and he was very clearly worried about getting counterpunched by him. It almost looked like he was just looking for that one big punch the entire fight. Like he just wanted to land that one big left hand to the chin and just end it. But he's clearly never faced an opponent that moves around like Machida, so that's not about to happen. Uh, he needs to figure out how to set that thing up better. And uh, he needs to throw some fundamentals in there because I saw no fundamentals from this guy. Uh, he'd use no jabs. I didn't see him throw any low kicks. Uh, he just basically played Machida's game. And uh, he spent most of the fight following him around the octagon and chasing him around. Uh, he didn't really cut him off. And uh, ultimately, that's what lost him the fight. And I'm not trying to dog Anders out or anything like that. But he is a very game fighter and he's very talented. He just needs to get polished up a little bit. But I definitely can see that guy as a contender in the future. He just needs to, uh, you know, work on some of the holes in his game. Overall, I thought the performance from Machida was a little lackluster. And I personally was actually expecting more out of this fight. I was expecting, you know, to see a finish. You know, you got a high-level veteran getting in there against a young dude who's uh, haven't really been in there with somebody like him before. You know, I was expecting to be surprised and to be wild, and uh, I kind of wasn't. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, let like and subscribe for more videos, and let me know what you guys want to hear me talk about. Thanks, and have a good night.